I don't think you need to be British to understand mum because, and that's not just a good answer because I want people to watch it on BritBox, it's because mum quintessentially deals with the human condition. It deals with people, characters, and the situation of mum is a universal situation. It's a woman thrown into a very new phase of her life because her long-standing husband has died and she's left with a son and all of the other people that inhabit her life. And then slowly, 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 she realises that she has a set of feelings for this man who's been her husband's best friend. Uh, it, it's, it's not... It's not even something, a series that you can say you need to be part of um, a particular area of Britain to understand, which can be the case. You know, some humour is particularly southern or northern or Irish. Or... It's because it's dealing with people and emotions and that is absolutely universal. And I think the comedy comes out is coming out of what these characters are thinking and saying and doing to each other. And that's not particularly English, American, Australian, European, it's universal. Well, you know, acting's a strange thing. You, you can do some parts where you think, oh yeah, that's happened to me, so I understand that, but then you have to put it through the filter of that character, because there's no point it coming through the filter of Leslie. And sometimes you, you, you read scripts that you have no experience of at all in life. You haven't had those things happen to you uh, in that, qu quite in that way. So it's always a mixture of um, acting and maybe sometimes uh, uh, relating things that have happened to you and, and kind of chewing it up and spitting it out in a slightly different way. Um, I mean, listen, there's no doubt about it. By the time, the older you get, the more life experiences you've had, the richer your, your um, canvas of emotions can be because you understand more um, if you've been living your life as a human being with your antennae on the go, which mine always are. Um, so, yeah, it's a mishmash. You, you, I, I've had my fair share of grief in my life and, uh, and happiness, I mean, but in no particularly different measures to the average person of my age. Um, but my job is to um, convey emotions so that I can fulfil a role and touch and move an audience in a particular way that you want to. I got my ticket for the long